How do you live like that? So, got asked that again the other day. Bit of a weird question. We're gonna talk about chronic pain today a little bit. We're gonna talk about my experience, me as a patient experience with chronic pain. Um, for context, as some of you may know, I'm a registered massage therapist and a sports injury therapist. I deal with a lot of people suffering from both chronic and acute pain. I see a lot of acute injuries, I see a lot of post-op rehab, a lot of people who are, are dealing with pain who aren't, uh, aren't exactly acclimatized, I guess, aren't exactly used to it. And they, um, they're in unfamiliar territory. You know, a big part of our job ends up being calm shit down, build shit up, that whole thing. So take someone whose who's brain is presenting the loudest worst case scenario to them. Oh God, is it this, is it this, is it this? No, your history doesn't indicate that. And one of the questions that I run into from people when we get talking about that, because the big part of our job is, is chit-chatting back and forth, it's listening and engaging. It's not just, here's what I think it is, go lay on the table. It's, okay, uh, I understand what you're going through, if you do, and here are some ways I've found that helped. Here are some things I've found that have helped that include talking to a dietitian or seeing a psychotherapist or whatever it might be. And it gets to, okay, well, what do you go through? And as we're talking, some of the things I get asked are, how do you live like that? And it's something I really haven't thought of much at this point in my life, but every time the question comes up, I have like a, you know, an off the cuff, oh, you just do it a day at a time. And today I'm having just one of those garbage days. I'm at the clinic tonight till like 9, 9.30. Uh, it's currently a little afternoon. Started this morning, obviously. And I have a little bit of a gap right now, so I'm using it to film this because it just popped into my head again. I was talk just talking to another patient about he's going through some issues with a, a foot problem. and. He's not used to it. He's like, how do, you, how do people live like this? How do people live in daily pain? And it's, it's, I don't know, there's, the way I like to run it is almost like, um, almost like a flow chart. So, wake up, take a daily inventory. Uh, move around, see what hurts, what doesn't, what you can, what you can't do. And then you base your, your day largely on that. I mean, you have your you have your static daily demands. You have your, oh, I have to work today. Okay, cool. I have to be productive. I need to earn an income, make a living. How can I do that in such a way that I can work around what I'm experiencing? So that, that, that becomes a matter of you get into a groove that works for you over time. You know, for me, it became being self-employed. For some people, it might be starting an Etsy account. Who knows? So start with a daily inventory. How do I feel? And then from there, your flowchart starts to dictate where you can go with your day. How active can I be today? Can I go, I don't know, play paintball? Can I go do the escape room? Can I go indoor climbing or to the gymnastics club? Or am I, am I taking a day where I try to work on just being able to walk today? And yes, that's the thing I do. I practice walking. It's ridiculous. I practice walking. It's too long bendy lever arms sticking out of my butt, and I practice putting one in front of the other without hurting. Some days I have to. Some days I don't. And so, from there, it's now a matter of asking the question based on, you know, where I go with my flow chart. You know, good pain day, bad pain day. How well did I rest the night before? Things like that. What can I do today to, um, I guess, lend myself the most efficacy? Uh, feel the most fulfilled at the end of my day? How can I make it so I feel the most comfortable with how I spent my day relative to my, cap my capabilities? Because there's still the missing out thing. There's still the, oh, your friends all went and did this, and you couldn't participate that day. Like, you couldn't go. That sucks. That sucks. Like, there's the curmudgeon party. It's like, <laughs> yes, I get to stay in with my cat. 
But then there's the other part of me, the social part of me, that says, but damn it, I missed out. That sucks. And so it's, it's kind of tempering your beliefs to say, within my tolerance, based on my flow chart, based on ankle dorsiflexion, based on spinal flexion, based on, on lower back spasm, or shoulder mobility and control, or pain, or headache, or whatever it might be, whatever my flavor of pain is that day that's really standing out if it's a really bad pain day. Does it jive with what I can do? And if not, I have to know that that becomes a draconian decision. It's gone. It's out. And so now from the things I can do, what lends me the most feeling of uh, accomplishment or self-efficacy? So what do I walk away from saying I got the most done I could have? Or what do I walk away from saying I feel the best about myself or my day that I did, I could have? And so it's... I, I guess it's tempering your expectations. And once you get used to that, I mean, it still sucks, but it sucks less somehow. You still wake up and you're like, who the hell knew a foot could spasm like that and the rest of the leg could respond? Or who wakes up with a dislocated shoulder and has to address that for the rest of the day? But there's the other part that's like, yeah, this guy, and I managed. So there's actually a bit of satisfaction managed to pull it up, that managing to pull it off. He said learning English for the first time. Uh, so yeah, I guess, you know, how do you live like that? It's the whole, how do you eat, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? It's that. You just, you just kind of have to start and pick a thing that you're the most, that most suits how you can address it and, and kind of plow through and be stubborn as hell and get your ass kicked and then unkick your ass and be stubborn again <sighs> yeah not nearly as eloquent as I'd like to be today but I think this will be my take on that so yeah how do you live like that how do you eat an elephant one day at a time one bite at a time thanks kindly Thank you.